And here we go with another great video tutorial from the Music and Players Club. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a riser in Ableton Live's operator. So open a new live set and we'll get into it. I'm going to drag operator onto a new MIDI track. If you click in here on the pitch envelope, which is this row right here, and you click the square, it will turn orange and it activates our pitch envelope. I'm going to turn this pitch envelope up to 100%. And we're going to be affecting this oscillator right here. So I think it's good to use a square wave sometimes, I prefer. Um, but all these different wave types will give us uh, different sounds. And you can experiment with different ones of these to create a, sort of a different, richer type of sound. Uh, but we'll go with this one to start. And I'm also going to. Uh, Go in here to this pitch envelope, and we're gonna. This is where we're gonna create the riser. So, we'll start with this little square right here, and go ahead and drag that up and to the right, all the way, and down, all the way to 36 negative 36 steps. I'll take it three octaves below uh, its center point, and it's gonna end up here or peak out at 48 steps, so four octaves above the center point. And uh, if you click this and drag it straight up, that'll make it this one as well. That'll keep it there. Um, so I don't want it to drop off afterwards. And essentially, we're just going to have a mini note here play for a duration of eight measures. So let's, uh, by clicking in here, I was able to create a new mini clip. And I'm going to drag out to eight here, which is eight measures. I'm going to choose a wide grid so it's really quick and easy to double click on the C1 note and drag it out to 8 measures. So that's going to play C1 for 8 measures. And now if I click on this we should get a basic riser sound. richen that up is by just adding um, some of the levels of these other oscillators into the mix and we can do this by just turning these up a sort of randomly a little bit here and these already have a slight um, detuned effect just by turning them on like that so let's hear what that sounds like So if we wanted to sample that in, we could go ahead and hit resampling here. Uh, record on this new audio track. And uh, let's go straight ahead and record it in. track to or this uh, mini clip to riser I'm sorry not mini clip audio clip to riser 1a and I'm going to shorten this to eight measures exactly by right click and hit crop sample it'll uh, make it exactly that length and there you have it a riser created in Ableton Live's operator and now we have this audio um, track that we can um, it's also saved a sample in our um, project and so we can use this in any other song uh, we see fit and we know that it's a you know a very usable sample right here and this the way we've created this we can obviously uh, you know create some variations in here on how we how we played around with operator and and uh, get some different settings with these different oscillators and get some sort of wider variance going on but that's how you create a simple rising pitch, uh, a pitch riser in Operator. All right, thanks for joining us, and tune in 
For our next session will be uh, how to create a wise white noise sweep in Ableton Live's operator. Okay, thanks for joining.